Well, it was a very successful 2023 Farm Progress Show, but as always, now that it's behind us, the focus turns to what's next. And for the team at Farm Progress, that means Husker Harvest Days. Joining us now is Dina Morgan. She's the sponsorship manager with Farm Progress. And Dina, are you ready to go to Husker Harvest Days? We are ready. It's a quick turnaround between Farm Progress Show and Husker Harvest Days. But at this point, we're in the farm show groove and we're just gonna hit it hard and make that an excellent show as well. So we've got two weeks until Husker Harvest Days. Dina, what are the dates of that show? So dates are September 12th, 13th, and 14th in Grand Island, Nebraska in Grand Island, Nebraska. Now, Husker Harvest is certainly a farm show, similar to the Farm Progress show, but there are new and different things at Husker. Could you talk a little bit about some of the big picture farm approach that you can get exposed to there. Absolutely. You know, our exhibitors are always striving to do new things every year. They want to have the latest and greatest on their lots so that visitors coming can say, oh my gosh, I need to stop there and see that. And one of those this year is Chief Agribusiness. They are, they have set up the All-American Farmstead. And it is the whole package. So they've got a farm shop, a grain bin, and a grain leg and then a house. So it is a one-stop shop for everything you might possibly need. And Chief makes the house, right? Chief has made the house as well, yes. They do it all, so that will be there. What else are you excited to see this year when you get over to Grand Island, Dina? So I'm also excited, another new thing is that Titan will have the new Big Bud. So this is the, the first Big Bud in 40 years, I think. So we're excited to be able to have that at Husker Harvest Days as well. It has been interesting, I, I know if that was at Farm Farm Progress Show, I heard growers taking a look at it. It's interesting to see all this new technology out there for growers, but Husker is interesting because it's not just crop focused. Being in the high plains, you know the importance of cattle out there in that part of the country. Can you talk a little bit about what's there for livestock producers? Absolutely. You know, we call it the world's largest totally irrigated farm show, but it has a huge livestock presence as well. One of those is our livestock handling demonstrations. We do two of those a day at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. in the afternoon with our local veterinarian, Doc Joe, and he's wonderful. If you have a chance to stop by and listen to his programs, they're really great. But it's a time for our um, livestock vendors to show off their different shoots and all the um, new equipment that they have as well. It is one of the neatest things to see all these animals coming through different head gates, different shoots, different approaches to use on your livestock operation. Absolutely. We also have an ear tag company that's there and some pharmaceutical companies giving them vaccines and those kinds of things. So you can really see again there the whole big picture. Absolutely. Now you mentioned irrigation. That is a central focus of Husker Harvest Days, isn't it? It is, yes. So many of the different exhibitors have been there, and that's just, you see it throughout the entire show, I think, the, the importance of water in that part of the country. Absolutely, the importance of water. So it, it takes it from the, from the whole process, you know, the, the pivots to how do you manage your water, to how do you um, fuel that, all those kinds of different things um, is really a big focus of the show. Absolutely, and of course, when you're going, a lot of us are taking our families, we're going with everybody. It's always nice to have fun things to keep an eye on. Can you talk a little bit about the canine stars? Yes, yeah, so this is new at Husker this year. I'm super excited. They were at Farm Progress Show, so I've gotten to have a little sneak peek. And let me tell you, if you have a minute, you should definitely stop by and see them. So the Canine Stars were on America's Got Talents a couple seasons ago, and they uh, do a show, a stunt show with some discs and frisbees and things like that, as well as jumping into a ball pit. So sometimes they'll jump into um, like a water a big pool yeah. and this is actually full of balls but it's really fun it's a great show um, so definitely stop by and see that if you're at Husker. Absolutely and Dina folks can get their tickets online is that correct what's the website? Yes yeah, so visit huskerharvestdays.com that's where you can get your tickets also download the show app uh, that will an easy way to check up an exhibitor and find out where they're located.